Adora Umoji came into Zenith Bank as a youth copper. Man recounts humble journey of Bank's first female CEO. You see, this particular news article tells us of, you know, resilience, determination. Whatever you want to do, whatever you see in your eye, you see, whatever you call yourself, that is what you are. This is yet another example for an inspiration for women, telling them not to. Don't play small. Whatever you set your mind to do, you would be able to do it. A Nigerian man, Olamide Obi, Olamide Obi, has recounted how Adora Umoji, the first female group CEO of Senate Bank, got into the bank as a youth copper and made her significant mark. On Tuesday, March 19, Tadora Omoji was appointed by Zenith Bank as its new group managing director and chief executive officer, succeeding former GMD Dr. Ebenezer Onyago, whose five-year tenure expires on May 31, 2024. Tadora will be joining the League of Top Female CEOs of prestigious banks, including Miriam Olusanya, GT Bank, Yemisi Edo, FCMB, Halim Abuba, Centrus Bank, Irati, Samuel Obu, Citibank, among many others. Her success inspired many on social media platforms as commenters shared congratulatory messages. Video also captured the happy mood of Zenith Bank staffs as they celebrated Adora Umoji. Olamide, who is a staff of Zenith Bank, could not contain his joy as he shares Adora's remarkable journey into Zenith Bank via his Twitter page. He revealed that Adora came into the prestigious bank as a National Youth Service Corps NYC member where she completed her one-year service. While working at the bank, she managed to secure a check of one billion naira for Zenith Bank founder Jim, James Ovia, ultimately securing her position within the bank. He narrates... During my NYC days at Zenith Bank as my PPA in 2008, her branch head then would use Adora to ginger house. He would tell us that Adora came to the bank as a youth copper and she brought a one billion naira check to him and a space had to be created for her at the table. With further say, we can also jump from being a youth copper to a non-executive director if we can increase our DDA by one billion naira and people will be demoted if necessary just to create space for us at the table. Adora was someone every copper, E.T. and E. in Zenibar looked up to as a role model those days. It is so pleasant hearing that she has been appointed as the new MD of Zenith Bank. I wish her a successful tenure. During my NYC days at Zenith Bank as my PP in 2008, a branch had within always use Adora to change ours. She would tell us that Adora came to this bank as a youth copper and she brought in a one billion euro check to Jim and a space had to be created for her at the table. It was what nothing that Adora, born in Anambra, had been the deputy managing director of the bank since October 28th, 2016 and has close to 30 years coming with banking experience of which 26 years has been at Zenith Bank. She is an alumnus of the prestigious Harvard Business School where she attended the Advanced Management Program, AMP, and an alumnus of Columbia Business School with a certificate in the Global Banking Program. She holds a bachelor degree in sociology from the University of Joss, a bachelor degree in accounting, with an, and a first class honors in law from Bayes University, Abuja. She holds a master of laws from the United States, University of Southwood, United Kingdom, a Master in Business Administration, MBA from the University of Kaaba, and also a Doctorate in Business Administration from Apollos University, USA. She holds a Certificate in Economics for Business from the prestigious MIT Sloan School of Management, USA, and has attended various management programs in renowned universities around the world, including the Strategic Thinking and Management Program of Wharton Business School, USA. She also attended the executive program in strategic management and has a certificate in leading global business, all from Harvard Business School, USA. In 2022, the federal government of Nigeria honored Umoji with Officer of the Order of the 
Niger as a recognition of her contributions to nation building. She is a peace advocate of the United Nations UN Polak. She has impacted many lives through her philanthropic and humanitarian activities through her NGOs, Pink Break Cancer Organization, and the Durable Foundation that educates, caters for cancer patients and indigenous children education, especially the girl child. Again, this is an inspiration of what not just, you know, any human can do. I'm going to say a woman can do because she's a woman. You understand? In a world where the male, formerly we have the male dominating different walks of life, different spheres of life, you know, as a woman, women are now, you know, you now have many, many, many look around you. You now have women who you can actually look up to and they become your inspiration. This is a, a proof that you can set your mind what as in you can set your mind as something and you can actually achieve it for me this is what this is this means you can set your mind to something and you can actually achieve it wherever you are no matter who you are no matter where you are coming from that is just it whether you are a man whether you're a woman however vision the vision you have in your heart Yes, now it might be looking very stupid, but my dear, if you continue to push at it, you continue to take little tiny steps forward and do things that is going to propel you towards that dream, the sky is going to be your starting point. You understand? I also understand that this woman, you know, the news, the news there was a called, the news about her broke out. In the internet and so people are already saying hey because she's a woman uh, she used her body to get i'm like come on don't be a bitter leaf don't be a bitter soul don't be the genuineness the happiness and the voices of doesn't what i was looking at that day was the genuineness and the voices of unhappiness and the voices of her should i say her colleagues and what i was looking at and i'm like no 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 for them to be this happy happy for her uh -huh. make you know say this woman she deserves what she got she deserves this particular position and looking at her profile i am like what hey <laughs> i saw her profile like what the heck one person <laughs> so you could tell that she has been aiming for this and she actually got it congratulations to her so like I said, take a message. This should be an inspiration that whatever you set your mind to do, there is no limit to what the human mind and of course, with your determination can achieve. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest.